So welcome to the forward engine room. This is a, an area that's not really uh, looked at too often in these videos. I dropped down here to do uh, the build inspection just to make sure, you know, everything is as dry as we left it. Um, but other than that, no one's really down here. Um, Larry is still working on getting the lighting reinstalled. You can see, um, see, so these brackets are left behind. Um, and so he has to rerun all the wiring and then put back the period correct light fixtures, the junction boxes and all that, uh, and then get everything, uh, just well lit again. So, you know, the ultimate goal would be to get the forward engine room looking as good as the aft engine room, B3, and that's where most of the videos take place. Uh, in this compartment... Nothing's really been touched. Um, this is exactly how this was given to us uh, from the Greek Navy. And as you can see, the tags here are still Greek. They're English. It's a whole big mashup. Uh, the deck plates, these are just a mishmash of what was laying around. So, you know, things are loose, things are scary. You hold your weight, but. They're not well fitted right now. They are, you know, they, they fit, but they may not be the proper piece in each part. Uh, and notice they're not fitted down either. Now for that, I do have a ton of screws. And in case anyone was wondering, the deck plate screws that are used here are a quarter 20 uh, flathead. They are they're like this, they're countersunk. And they are three quarter inch long, and this is a perfect match for the ones that are in the other machinery spaces. All right, so here's the main attraction uh, of why I started recording. I was looking at the bilges earlier, and when I looked in here, this is where usually where all the treasure lives underneath the, uh, the engines, but right in there, I see a curved wrench. And curved wrenches are usually, you know, they're 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 bent for a reason, and it's so that you can reach something that's difficult to get to with a straight wrench. My first guess is gonna be it was used for adjusting the packing. Uh, we have one of them that's over in B3. Um, so I'm gonna pull that out with a magnet and we're gonna get it cleaned up and take a look at it. All right, here it is. This is with all of the grime attached. Important to note that just because it's in here and it's in a difficult to reach spot does not mean it's original to the ship. It doesn't even mean that it's from the Greek period, from 1951 to 1991. Uh, remember, we have 25 years uh, here in Albany, um, and then four years, correct me if I'm wrong, four years of the ship being in New York City near the Intrepid. Um, so that's, that's nearly 30 years of volunteers being here, dropping stuff. Um, but that's the real charm here. We have the, the original World War II period, then she was in mothballs, uh, then she was given to Greece, and now um, there's all this history of, of the restoration work that's been going on over the decades. Uh, so you never know what you're going to find. You never know, you know the story behind it, who dropped it, when. Uh, but it's fun all the same to find all the, the stuff people drop.
You'll learn. <laughs> That's what I figured. You know, there's plenty of people who are far less prepared than I, and, uh, and yep. they did just fine. years young is he? He's the same age I am, 79 now. Why don't we sing a happy birthday? I think we're singing happy birthday soon to Benner. Show up tomorrow. Maybe I'll take a day. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll be here. We'll remember. We have long memories. <laughs> <laughs> now, you want to coil this cord up and just wait yes. it in the box? Okay, so. Oh, wait. Oh, so that's where you guys put. It's all the same. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, 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 it let go one way or the other. Yeah. It's okay. It snaps okay. You want to put new balls in it? Yeah. All right. So all we want to do is clean these up. Did you get a hose for a vacuum yeah, on that? Vacuum. 